Hey guys, happy crafter day. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Saturday. And I know that on my Facebook page, you guys, we are live from the craft room playing bingo. However, I am pre-recording this for you so that you guys can see what Kim taught us about the pinwheel card. And I'm really excited about it, you guys, because not only is this a great use for scraps, but you guys, no matter what designer series paper you have, you can make a beautiful card and it will look different every single time. Every single time. All right, so you guys want to peek? Well, first, first I'm going to show you what I'm using. And you guys, today, because I haven't spent a lot of time with this paper, and you would think that I would have because, you know, I am a purple girl. But I was kind of tossing around the idea of doing these two DSPs for my card, but I changed my mind. I know. We are ladies, after all. We can change our mind and do whatever we want. I ended up picking that color combination. So if you have not, and I've kind of cut this one up, you guys. If you have not seen this gorgeous paper, okay, you've got geometric patterns on one side, and then you have floral on the other. There's some coral, and we've got some evening evergreen and old olive, which you guys, I use this for shamrocks, or for um, St. Patrick's Day cards. And then, let's see, what else we got here? We've got um, a grid kind of pattern and some more geometric pattern. But there's a lot of gorgeousness in this Designer Series paper pack, you guys. So if you haven't gotten it yet, it is one that you should have because I like that one side... There are several guy-type cards, you guys, because you've got that evening evergreen and even that little bit. It looks like mossy meadow to me, but... Mm. Anyways, um, but this is a great combo pack for um, guy cards and for lady cards. But you guys want to know what we're going to be using today. Well, first off... And you guys, just a reminder, all the products that I use will be listed in the description below. Um, and so no worries. If you didn't get the screenshot, don't sweat. I like to make your shopping easy. All right, so let's take a look at what we're going to be using. So first off, you guys, you're going to need Calypso Coral. And let me resituate my pieces here, make it a little bit more organized. So hang on one second. I have one piece that is four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at four and a half and at five and a half. I put it in this way, you guys. So four and a half and five and a half. And then I have two pieces, because that's what the times two means, or the X two, that are two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So that's the coral. We're going to be using that ink also in a little bit. But then we're going to go to the evening evergreen pieces of this. That's four and an eighth by four and three eighths. Now you'll see that one is embossed and it's using that time worn, this um, time worn 3D embossing folder just for a little bit of texture. And I'll explain to you what I was what I was thinking when I did this. So, and you're gonna need another piece. Those two are the exact same size. One, this one is for the front, the um, embossed one. The second one, you guys were doing a double mat on this one. I thought that all these cards were definitely worthy of a double mat. So, this basic white piece here, you guys, is four inches by four and a quarter. So four inches by four and a quarter. And then 
Here's your other evening evergreen piece. This is 7 eighths of an inch by 4 and an eighth. And then this is just a piece of scrap. This is just a piece of scrap for our sentiment. But then I've got these pieces. This one, and I did all the fussy cutting already, you guys. Look at me. I did all the, I fussy cut the flower and the coordinating leaves. It actually connected about like that on the designer series paper. So this will be part of our decoration. So we're going to put that in our little bucket up here. And then you have these. So obviously favored flowers is the dot or is the DSP that I'm using. Excuse me. You will need two different patterns. So I have two different patterns here. I have the flower pattern and I have the geometric pattern. And each of these, that's what pattern one, which is P1, and pattern two, which is P2, you're going to need four each of those patterns that measure one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So you'll see here, you guys, I have eight pieces, okay? Remember, pattern one, P1, pattern two, which is P2, okay? And then we need one more piece. We need this little skinny piece that's three quarters of an inch by four. And you knew I had to get the purple in there. Just a little. Just a little, I promise. All right. So first off, first things first, we need grid paper. I found that the easiest way to get this lined up square was to use grid paper. And if you need to, you guys, draw it out. I Kim drew it out for us when um, she was showing us how to do this, and I really liked having that template there. So you'll notice, and I'm going to bring you in closer, you guys, and I'll move the paper as needed. Hang on one second. I want to show you guys. Can you see that a little bit closer? Hang on. So you see how this 2 and 5 eighths, because it's 5 eighths of an inch, it's not, I want to center this in here, in these, in my grid, okay? So there'll be a little bit, it won't be touching that top line, and it won't be touching that bottom line. And then I got to find our middle which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I need 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our middle is going to be in between these two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. Our middle is going to be in between these two, this grid. So this middle right here. All right. So take a deep breath. And you're going to want to make sure that your top and bottom here and here line up really, really super duper close. So it should look like this. So I'm going to carefully take this top piece off. And apparently, you guys, I need to replace the blade on my trimmer. That looks terrible. Okay. So, and I'm, because of where I am putting this, I'm only going to add glue in the middle. So just in the middle. And we're going to flip it over and we're going to do our lineup because we did our trial. So we know about where we need to be. I'm going to bump this up just a little bit. And then we're going to secure. Just like that. So that it ends up looking like this. Whoops. Let me move you guys out so that you can see. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. Here is what this looks like. Okay. This, once you get this part, there's one trick to the next part. And I know that you guys will figure it out. I totally know. Okay. So we're going to take all of our one and a quarter inch pieces 
and we're going to take one to start and knowing that it's going to start in this corner there's going to be an even reveal somewhat even reveal all the way around or all these two sides so with that I only want to put a little bit of glue right here in this corner and yes there is a reason so hang on okay just a little bit of glue and we're gonna give that that little reveal all the way around and you guys it's like a sixteenth of an inch in all seriousness so it should look like that but see how it's kind of flapping in the wind you want that so don't panic all right so we're going to take our next pattern or the pattern number one and we're going to put that about there and this one you guys can glue all the way around whoa making a mess big surprise all right so we're gonna do that oh my gosh you guys we had so much fun at our team meeting and i asked kim to teach me how to do this and i was selfish so i let her do it at the team meeting so glad that i did because this was a fun project fun like and we love having uses for scraps right making sure that that stays down taking on my next flower and i do have samples to show you guys hang on one second be patient samples i have samples so that you can see not just the original one that i did either i have samples another sample so See where we're going with this? One, two, three. We've got four done. We have four more to do. But see how, and this, this flap is still flapping in the breeze, which is good. The other thing is, you guys, okay, I don't necessarily pay really super close attention to the pattern, but I do like kind of making sure that the geometric pattern is coordinating so put glue on there and we'll put this on here and we're just adding all of our pieces all the way around but see how it looks like that kind of lines up a little bit ish it's not exact you guys and then whoops that gets tucked in here like that and then we've got this one which goes here and I want to make sure that it does not get caught up in that other piece this one right here I want to make sure that it's not um, conflicting with that piece so see how we've got one more edge here so we've got one more piece to add which is going to be this piece and this is going to go in here like this okay but I want to make sure that it tucks under here so make sure that when you're adding this piece that it's not overlapping this piece. Gosh, I hope that makes sense. And then I think we're going to do this one this way. We'll glue it in there like that. Because this one has a little purple popping out. This one's going to have a little bit of purple popping out, which is always a good thing. I like me some purple. All right, so we're going to do this one this way. Or do we want it this way? 
No, I think we're going to do it this way. I'm liking it this way. All right. Clean off that glue there. Let's shimmy this down just a little bit like that. So there's that piece. Now we've got this piece that we have to glue. Now we're all done making the pinwheel part. So we got to glue this on. Oh, you guys, I went a little crazy. I went a little crazy. All right, so there's that. I'm going to take this little piece of scrap that I have in my trash over here. And there's that. Pull that piece back in again. Scraping off that glue. There we go. So there's the actual pinwheel portion. Not too hard, right, you guys, once you know how to start it. But now, let's see, I'm thinking that I like do, do, do. I think I like it like that. And this is all preference. Now let's put our card together. All right, so we're gonna score on, or we're gonna burnish on our scores. Because we're making a book binder, okay? So we're gonna glue this on here. Don't go super crazy with the glue. Because you don't want it to um, ooze out over here. Try not to go crazy. All right, so we've got that. Here's our card front. Oh, we did good. Nothing, nothing seeped on that one. All right, so we've got our evening evergreen piece and our little designer series paper floral piece. And we're going to use this and we're going to glue this on this piece. Now, if you don't want to use this floral, you could have used the other side, which would have been the geometric pattern. I liked the pop of coral up here, which is why I used that, because look at how pretty that looks on that coral card base. Oh, isn't that pretty? All right, so we're going to we're going to glue this our little bind our little edge on. Make sure that it's the way you want it to go. And we'll glue that. All right. So the embossed one is our front. And then this and this is our inside. I'm going to do all the stamping at once. Now, this one, I always check the words and make sure that the words, can you see it says harvest right there? I always check and make sure that my words are right side up when using this time worn, you guys. Do you think, I'm thinking we might make it through this card before I need to get glue. Could we be so lucky? All right, so there's this. All right, so there's what that looks like so far. I love the little edge of coral on there. I love the flower decoration on there. And then this is going to go on the front like that. Oh, isn't that pretty? But, you know, we're going to put some ribbon on here, right? So I have my linen thread. Of course, I heard you say that. I did. And we're going to... Do a tie here. Do, do, do. We're going to grab our reverse tweezers and I'm going to make it my bow do, 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 do. all the way over to the edge here. Grab my tweezers, get that holding. And then I have the evening evergreen organdy. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And we're just going to do. I think we're just going to do one loop on that. Let's grab our ribbon scissors. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I got new scissors coming and I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. New scissors. Okay. So see how that's staggered like that? I'm going to hold that with my other set of reverse tweezers and then I'm going to stick it right there. And then we're going to tie a knot. Put this in here. And tie that knot there. And then I'm going to tie another bow. Or tie a bow. There isn't even a bow on here yet. We're going to tie a bow with this linen thread. If I can get a hold of that linen thread. There we go. And then we're going to cut that. I'm going to size down this bow. We're going to pull the back one, the knot one, out. And we're going to tighten that. I wanted to make sure that this bow, that this little loop here, stayed where I wanted it to so that it looks like that. You guys wanted to learn fancy bows. That's what the girls said. There's a cute little fancy bow for you. All right, so this is our front. And we're going to grab some dimensionals. And you guys, I picked four corners and just stuck it on the four corners. And then, of course, one for the middle because we don't like any saggy bellies. And you can hold that linen thread on there just like that. And we're going to put this on our front. And then we're going to stamp. Okay. So this is going to go right here. In the middle as best as you can. But it's going to go right there. See how pretty that is? That is good to me just like that. However, you know we can't leave it like that. I can never leave things alone. You guys know that. All right, so we've got, this is our sentiment. This is going to be our inside. Our sentiment, I'm thinking, is going to be coral. And then I have the little B. We're going to be using this beautifully happy stamp set, you guys. I love the sentiments in here. Kindness Matters is a big one, you guys, to me. That's awesome. And then for a feel better kind of day, do you have somebody that's like down in the dumps? You know, we all have those moments of being down in the dumps, right? I think actually we're going to do the B first. Do, do, do. We're going to do a couple of Bs on the inside. Just like that. And then we're going to put this B right here, like that. And then, oh, I forgot I had that flower. We might not need that B because I have that flower. We'll take a look and see what it looks like. And then we're going to put our sentiment in coral. Make sure it's straight. And there's our sentiment piece. And we're going to close this up. And I'm going to flag the end of this. This end here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There we go. So here's our kindness matters for the front. Here's our bees for the inside. So we're going to glue this white. Oh, I, I knew I shouldn't have said anything. It's empty, you guys. Totally 100% empty. Empty, empty, empty. Should have kept my mouth shut. All right, new glue, be careful when you're using a new glue, you guys. It's going to come out like crazy. Oh my gosh, those bees are so cute. 
guys, there's only a few days left to get this stamp set and this designer series paper. And know that oh, it's still, you still have time. So there's our, and we've got, you'll see just that little skinny reveal there. This is going to be our inside. So we're going to, we're going to put this on our inside. Doody, doody, do. And that will go in here. Again, that same little skinny reveal. There's your inside. Here's our front, and we have our kindness matters. But I forgot, you guys, we have this cute little flower here, too. And I think we definitely need to use this flower. So what I'm thinking, we've got mini dimensionals here. And... I want, take your pick tool, I want the flower to be risen up just a little bit above the leaves. So we're going to use just a little cut piece so that it looks like that. So it looks like that. And then we're going to take our flower and basically what we just did is tuck those leaves under just like that. And you've got your dimensionals in there. And I'm thinking that we're going to end up doing that. Hmm, maybe not. Let's play with it. Nothing's, you know what? I actually really like that. What do you guys think? How does that look? I think that looks really cool. We can use that on the inside. I'm thinking it needs to go on the inside. I think I changed my mind. So we're going to take edge dimensionals. And I'm putting them down here. Don't you love when that happens? Works out perfectly, right? And then we're going to put a little glue on here. I think that adding that flower and the sentiment, you guys, is it's hiding the pretty, um, the pretty pinwheel here. So we're going to stick that like that. Make it look like our sentiments hanging underneath our our um, ribbon there. We're going to grab our Wink of Stella, of course, because this little bee is super cute. But I think it needs a little bit of wink. So all that I did was run my Wink of Stella over that, added a little bit of shiny, shiny, and a little something something and then we can add our flower in here mm. Mm. oh there we go okay there we go we'll put it down there and we're while we're in here we're gonna color our little bees in here too and you guys, there is nothing on my Wink of Stella. And see how cute those are turning out? So this one's done and this one's done. And that one is just stamped. But we're going to take our Wink of Stella and we're going to... Oh my goodness. Love it. All right. Now... Just drop my take your pick tool on the floor on my foot. All right. We've got our glue. There is a natural little cut here. 
So I'm going to bump that all the way to the edge. Just like that. So there's our inside. So we've got our little green little bees in there. And then we've got our kindness matters on the front. But I have some other samples. Now, if you follow my blog, the link is in the description below if you do not. But if you follow my blog, the other day I posted this one. This is the one that I made, this pinwheel part. I made, that's the one that I made with uh, Kim. And when she was uh, doing the demonstration for our team meeting. And then I made this card with it. And I loved how the book binder fold totally highlights this pinwheel. But do you notice I've got the two points here at the top where this one doesn't put the points at the top. But I have one more to show you. So this one uses the day on the farm paper. And these two, along with this one, uses the favored flowers. But notice how different these two are. You guys remember I talk about card layout and depending on what designer series paper you use, look how different those two cards are. Now this one, I added a little um, Blackberry Bliss piece to the background of this pinwheel because my base of my pinwheel was petal pink. This is petal pink. But I love what a different look just that single piece adds. But I also loved that time-worn um, texture that this one gave it. But I only wanted to do the one layer so that I could highlight that pinwheel better. So two super similar same DSP packs, you guys. And look at the difference in the layout. Depending on the ribbon, depending on the patterns, and depending on your additional piece. Oh, those are the three samples. Okay, so if you don't have any of these things yet, you guys, you have got to, there's a link in the description to go ahead and put in an order. If you're putting in an order, here's the host code right here. Don't miss out, you guys. Celebration ends on Tuesday. You don't want to miss out on this fun, free pattern paper or even this gorgeous stamp set. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that stamp set. This is like two times stamping to the max, you guys. This one's free with a $100 purchase. And... I our sentiments are for a feeling better kind of day. Sending happy thoughts, which is perfect for the cards that we just made. For a very happy birthday. Kindness matters, which is what we use today. That simple thank you, which I love. And then you are easy to love because you guys are easy to love. Oh, you guys. I am loving this card layout. You guys will see it again. This might even be one for a ding-dong ditch because it uses a lot of little pieces. And you guys know how I love to give you options on cards that use either scraps or leftovers from stuff that you didn't get to use. Anyways... You guys, if you have any questions, comment below. I will come back. I will answer your questions. And, but most of all, I hope you have an amazing crafter day and a great day getting crafty. All right. I am so excited that I was able to be here with you today, you guys. I look forward to seeing 